Today's game is going to be bingo. In bingo, we will use it for multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division. You can use bingo for a variety of purposes. It can be all for anything that is educational and non-educational purposes. The purpose of this video is to show you how we can play bingo using multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division. Okay, there, your game pieces are as needed. You can use some dice. These are six-sided dice, so you can get some all the way up to 20-sided. You can just find them online and purchase them. You want to get some placeholders, such as these, or any other type of placeholders. In this case, we're using counters. Flashcards or handmade flashcards. So, so let's begin. Of course, with bingo, you always have a free space, which is usually in the middle. Okay. So, in this case, with the addition, this one is um, for the younger group, probably first, second grade, maybe even kindergarten if you have some sm smarter kids, even third grade. Um, as a review, so we have flashcards 7 plus 5, that equals 12, so we cover up our 12, so self-explanatory, 0 plus 1 would give us 1, flashcard 10 plus 0 gives us 10, and 0 plus 0 gives us 0, and in this case, and here's your bingo. You can also have bingo this way, of course, you can have bingo this way, or you can move it around to this way, as long as they're five in a row, as with bingo, most players do. So in this particular one, we used flashcards, such as addition flashcards that you can buy at any store. You can also do this with multiplication. Um, you will have a little bit of trouble if you use flashcards that are pre-made with division and subtraction. However, you can hand make your flashcards. So in this case over here, what I did is I took it a to the next step where we have for the older grades that actually can use their addition skills and I had made some flashcards. So if you have a flashcard and for instance we have this number, they have the space down here to write or you can give them a sh shepherd sheet of paper. As they find out what the number is, you know of course you have your answer on the back and then they just kind of put it on here when they find the answer, if they have the answer. Um, you can make them to where you can put all of them have the same answers just in different orders. Okay, so here we have 310 plus 738. And in this case, this is going to be 1048. And 1048 is down here. Okay, you can also use it for, de for de decimals down here. Once again, we have homemade cards again. In this case, we have 5.8 plus 3.8, which should be 9.6. Okay, you have your free spot, and 9.6 is here. In this case, we have one point. We have 1.9 plus 0.5, which gives us 2.4. 2.4 on our graph is here. Okay, and then so on and so forth. Now, to incorporate dice, let's move on to multiplication. In multiplication, it can be really simple. You can have two dice or three or four however many that you feel remember you can get anywhere up to 20 sided dice so you can have 20 times 20 in this case so in this case we're just going to use three you would roll the dice okay and then you would just multiply all the numbers together five times one is five times six is 30 30 happens to be one of our answers so we play put a placeholder here and of course like anything else you want to just keep rolling, and, and, and this would could be done in partners or groups and take turns rolling until your card gets filled up. We roll again. We have 5 times 6, which is 30. 30 times 4 is 120. Do I have 120? No. So I don't get to go. And we roll again. And right here we have 5 times 6, which is 30, times 1, which is still 30, and I don't have it again. But as you can see, it's the basic objective. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below.